Hello and welcome to my astronomy podcast. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Orion constellation. Orion the Hunter is one of the easiest constellations to see in the wintertime night sky. In fact, it was the first constellation that I was able to identify when I was a little boy. It's bright and big and everybody can see it. Now this is an actual picture that I took of the night sky and right here you can see Orion. And here's the way to find him. I always look for these three stars, three bright stars right in a row. And that is Orion's uh, belt. Down below is Orion's sword. This is Orion the Hunter, of course. So there's his belt and there's his sword. And you can see these four corner stars that complete the Orion constellation. Now just as a side note, I'd like to introduce you to a program called Stellarium. If you're new to astronomy or you just want a nice program for your uh, computer that will help you identify and locate things in the night sky, Stellarium is wonderful and it's free. So go ahead and download it. Now I live at 42 degrees north latitude and so I've set up the program for me here and it's December 8th as you can see right here this is your 24 hour clock and so it'd be six o'clock in the evening and if you look to the east you can begin to see Orion rising in the east all of the constellations and planets and the moon and sun all come up in the east and they set in the west and so by seven o'clock you can start to see Orion there's Betelgeuse one of the corner stars in Orion now by eight o'clock the entire constellation is visible Oh, how I wish they had computers when I was a boy 60 years ago. The, one of the cool things about this program is that as you're trying to learn the constellations and what they're supposed to represent, a lot of times it's very hard to visualize uh, what that constellation is. And so they have a feature in the program, it's called Show Lines, and it kind of connects the dots here. And you can see Orion the Hunter, there's his belt and his sword, and there is the bow and arrow. So you can actually get an idea of why they call that Orion the Hunter. As you begin to learn your constellations, you'll also be able to identify the stars that make up those constellations and learn their names. There's my friend Betelgeuse, and Bellatrix, and Rigel, all of these stars that make up the constellation Orion. I'll zoom in a little bit here on Orion. Now as you learn your constellations, you can also start to learn what deep sky objects may be contained in those constellations. And here we have one of the brightest and easiest to find, it's called the Orion Nebula. And if you look in the sword of Orion, the center star is actually not a star at all. It's a nebula. Nebula are actually dust clouds. They're a formation of dust, hydrogen, helium, and other uh, ionized gases. And the Orion Nebula is one of the biggest and brightest. On a clear night, you can actually see it with the naked eye if you know where to look. So let's take a look at what the Orion Nebula actually looks like. We'll click on the center star, which is the nebula, and zoom in, and there it is. Isn't it beautiful? Now, as you look at this nebula through your binoculars or small telescope, you won't see the color. The human eye cannot render color uh, when in such faint objects. And so most likely what you'll see is kind of a faint fuzzy blob. I wanted to show you this picture. This is a picture I took with my Canon DSLR through my 80 millimeter refractor telescope. It's one of the first ones I ever took and uh, it shows you what's possible for the backyard astronomer today with the use of digital cameras and computers. So there you have it, a look at my favorite constellation, Orion the Hunter. Can you find Orion now? Remember, look for his belt and his sword. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to learn more about our night sky. So here's Grandpa Sky reminding you, look up to see our night sky wonders.